Hey, let us in. Nathan sent us. Troy? Jessica? <laughs> it's been a while. A year and a half, in fact. Come on, open these gates. We thought we lost you, Troy. Where have you been? All over the place. We got stuck in Tobias's group a month or so ago. Kyle was with us too, but he disappeared when we escaped. At least we have you back, son. We're all that's left of our family now. Well, a few months ago, I didn't even think I had a family left. I missed you so much. Don't worry. Nothing's going to separate us again. Dad, he needs to know. Know what? Droid. I'm sick. I don't know how much time I have left, but it isn't long. Maybe a few weeks to a month. What? He should have attacked by now. Yeah. I have a bad feeling about this Mason. Funny running into you again. Yeah. Last time we met, we weren't really on the same team. You should have come with us in hindsight. Yeah, well, you didn't seem like the people we wanted to be with at the time. It's okay. Daniel gives off that douchebag persona at times. Hey, there's no need for that, Mr. Clean. My point proven. Are you excited for your big day this week? Yeah. I mean, it's weird, you know. Stacy and I have been together for two years. We have a kid, and I never thought of marrying her. Well, the world did end, along with many traditions, Chris. Good news is that you don't have to spend a penny on this wedding. The whole thing is free of charge at my humble abode. <laughs> Thank you, Mason. Listen, I know you and Nate are on rough water with each other. I understand where he's coming from, but you're right. From what you told me, we do need to stop killing. You lose pieces of yourself every time you justify these actions. I... I've had to kill a few people, and I feel like it has changed me. Chris, I probably killed a couple dozen people by now. Under the old rules, you'd be forced to arrest me. <laughs> You've got a point. Technically, you are a serial killer. <laughs> See, even this joking about it. We're too used to this lifestyle. It needs to stop. I worry about John, what he will become. Emily was worried that he'd turn into some monster in this world. I told her I wouldn't let that happen. I think I've failed him as a father. Look, Mason, you have not failed him. As long as we keep our sons alive, we have succeeded. I'll die to keep him safe, even if he isn't mine. I'm sorry that Brutus did that to you guys. We should have stayed back. No, Mason, don't be sorry. If you stayed, we probably would have all died. Stacy used to have nightmares over it. What Brutus did to her. She won't even tell me everything that happened, but... It's not your fault, though. Besides, that son of a bitch is dead just like Tobias will be soon. You're right. Once I kill Tobias, I'm done killing anyone else, hopefully for a very long time. I can't do this anymore. Sorry we haven't talked much these last few days. How's your eye? It's healing a little better. I feel like people are scared of me now, though. What? No. No one is scared of you, John. They're just worried about you. We're all surprised you survived. It was because of you, Dad. Hey, Jonathan, are you almost ready? I'm good to go. Let's make this quick as possible, though. A 
As much as we need food, I do want to see Stacy and Chris's ceremony. Same here, actually. It's been a while since I've been to a wedding. We are here today to join Chris and Stacy in a life of mutual commitment. It is fitting and appropriate that you, the friends and family of Chris and Stacy, be here to witness and participate in their union. For the ideals, the understanding, and the mutual respect which they bring to their life together had their roots in the love and friendship and guidance you have given them. The union of two people makes us aware of the changes brought by time, but the new relationship will continue to draw much of its beauty and meaning from the intimate associations from their past. Chris, do you take Stacy to be your lawfully wedded wife? Promising to love and cherish through joy and sorrow, sickness and health, and whatever challenges you may face for as long as you both shall live. I do. Do you, Stacy, choose Chris to be your partner in life, to support and respect him in his successes and as well as his failures, to care for him in sickness and in health, to nurture him and to grow with him through the seasons of your life together? I do. And now, by the power invested in me, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Christopher, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Chris. <laughs> throwing a wedding? Boy, do I love weddings. And you fuckers didn't even invite me. Come on. What did I ever do to you? Except bash in a few of your friends' heads. Unfortunately, we aren't here for the after party. Mason, open that fucking gate if you know it's good for you. Couldn't stick with us. Just had to go and recruit the traitors. We got lots to talk about. 